Growing controversy now over a new move by the Obama administration that would seek to designate Alaska's Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, otherwise known as ANWR, a wilderness area. That new classification would apply to more than 12 million acres of land. This is well north of Fairbanks now. Congress may not go along with it, but the designation would essentially eliminate any chance of development or oil drilling in the future. Jonah Goldberg, Fox News contributor, senior editor for the National Review. Good morning to you, Jonah. You have been to this part of the world, as have I. The Secretary of the Interior says this part of Alaska is like the Grand Canyon or Yosemite. Now, no one goes north of Fairbanks. There are no people, Jonah. What's the obsession with northern Alaska? Yeah, well, look, in all honesty, my brother-in-law, my, my wife's from Fairbanks, Alaska. There are a handful of people who go hunting up there. There are a few Indian villages up there. Um, you know, but Anwar is the size of South Carolina. The amount of play space that they would want to use to actually drill is about the size of Dulles Airport. That's what the footprint would be. And it is uh, this idea that it's like the Grand Canyon or Yosemite is insane. There are millions of tourists who go there every year. Um, you know, to the Grand Anwar, Canyon. To the Grand Canyon and to Yosemite and all that. That's not what's going on up there. I mean, it is, it is truly wilderness out there. And, uh, it, this, but it, and, and that's one of the reasons why it is such a fat point of fascination for a lot of people on the left. Barack Obama used this idea that it is pristine um, as if there are no humans. It's not entirely true, which is that no, not a lot of people go there. And the footprint of actually drilling there would be very small and much safer than, than offshore drilling or importing foreign oil. Um, but it is this, I, this romantic idea of this sort of Shangri-La Brigadoon kind of thing that no one is ever going to visit that somehow has captured the American left. Uh, Lisa Murkowski, the senator from Alaska, said this, quote, What's coming is a stunning attack on our sovereignty and our ability to develop a strong economy. Talking about the people in our state of Alaska. I cannot understand why this administration is willing to negotiate with Iran, but not Alaska. You make a very interesting point. Just the designation itself keeps it, keeps it protected. Unless right, so Congress right. acts, correct? Right. So what's going on is, you know, Obama is officially asking Congress to designate it a wilderness. Um, Congress, this Congress will never, ever do that. The problem is, is that once the federal government asks for that designation, it automatically sort of goes into the equivalent of escrow. And it can't be touched, it can't be developed, and it for, sort of forces Congress's hands to sign off on this one way or the other, effectively sort of de facto getting exactly what Obama wants anyway. And, I, you know, Murkowski is entirely right. You know, the amount of land in Alaska that is privately held is 1%. This is a state that's four times the size of California, and only 1% of it is privately held. This administration wants to basically, you know, and, and the reason why Obama is not negotiating with Alaskans is because he doesn't negotiate with anybody. This is another one of these unilateral moves. No. It's legacy padding, um, and it's, out, it's truly outrageous, and Alaskans deserve to be mad. To Anwar we go. Forget <laughs> about Yosemite and Yellowstone and the Grand Canyon. Jonah, thank you. Jonah Goldberg in Washington. Great to be here. Thank you, you too. Martha.